So the, the dualities are different ways of looking at things. The interesting thing about the dualities that are being explored now in string theory is that they relate perhaps the, the two most fundamental concepts we have in physics in ways that nobody ever dreamed of. One is space and time. So I always, I always tell audiences that the greatest intellectual advance that any of us make, me, you, anyone, is in the first six months of our life where we, each of us, without much teaching, invent space and time. Space and time, you realize, are not something you directly sense. You've never seen space or felt time. It's a mental construct. It's a theory. It's a framework in which we need, as children, to get from one side of the room to the other and pick up the toy and so on. We construct space and time as our brains are developing. You know, we can't even speak. Our brains are developing and we're inventing space and time. What amazing feat. <laughs> Very crude concept, however, we've learned. I mean, Einstein has changed it, and now quantum mechanics. Is, and we're, so space and time are most basic concepts of physical reality. The second, we've learned in the last hundred years, the basic structure of physical reality is a different space called Hilbert space, where we live in quantum mechanics. And we're just, as physicists, I be truly believe, learning quantum mechanics. It's a very deep new way of looking at the world, and a hundred years isn't enough to grasp it. We've applied it with enormous success, both basic and practical. Most of our modern technology is based on our quantum knowledge of materials. But there are, we, we're still getting used to living in Hilbert space. And the amazing thing about these dualities that have been explored and discovered in this exploration of the theoretical framework, which is sometimes called string theory, is connecting those two most basic concepts. Yep. Both trying to, if you want, understand what space and time are made out of in terms of a quantum mechanical system and understanding the structure of the quantum space in which we live in terms of geometry. Geometry and structure of quantum mechanics. It's an amazing thing. And I uh, just am in awe of what we are continually discovering. All of us are. We're, it's like children discovering a new world. Mm -hmm. And we have no idea where it's going to lead. So we started.